Hi you guys, welcome back to the channel. It is not just going to be me in this video, Ben is also joining us, but he is getting the kids settled in the next room so that we can have just a few minutes to do a little Q&A here. The house has been wild lately. I feel like one kid keeps getting sick after the other and we have had very little time to just sit down and talk and do this Q&A. I posted this Q&A like, comment question section on my Instagram like a week ago and we still haven't gotten a chance to answer these questions so we are going to try and muscle through it right now and maybe speed through these questions I don't know but I picked out a few that I feel like we're asked frequently and that we haven't either answered in a while or we haven't answered at all so let's get into it oh Benji's here how long do you think this is gonna last with us just uh, us and this not room? very long I think it's the first time we've ever done this. What? Like a Q&A while the kids are awake? I know, usually we wait, but then it's either like dark outside mm -hmm. or we're trying to stay quiet because all the kids are sleeping, but now, now Ella doesn't, Ella doesn't even nap. nap. Yeah. So like, it's just, I was explaining that it's a, it's been a little wild over here and even AB's just not feeling good today. Yeah, it's just, She's, it's that time of year, just sickness and just a bunch of stuff. So I picked out some questions and we're gonna try and muscle through them. Is my zip covered up? <laughs> yeah, it's fine. <laughs> Should I show them? Should I be no, vulnerable? No, no. Should I be vulnerable? <laughs> Should I show them? Should I do ben. a big reveal? Three. No, no, no. Ben, Three, you know. two, one. Oh, it doesn't it look bad. It looks not bad on camera. It's like... Whoa, on camera. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Okay, As you no, guys you can see, hold on. In real life, it it's pretty bad. Look at that. Mm, perfect. Out of sight, out of mind, I guess. Okay. All right. We're going to start with saying our icks for each other. X. What are our icks? I don't know if I have any icks. Icks are like something that turns you off, correct? Yeah, where it's like, oh. I feel like I have pet peeves, but I don't know if I have any icks. Like, this like is... tickling me? Because I'm like a physical touch, words of affirmation, but if you start tickling me, I want nothing to do. Like, I don't want you to touch me at all. Or yeah, you haven't liked me tickling you. I find it icky that you, like, can't stay still in our bed and you, like, yeah. pick it, everything. Ben's a, I'm picker. a picker. So, like, if he has anything, like, on his fingers that he can pick off like, on his feet or like yep. on his face or on his arm oh it drives me nuts or i'll just like that. rub my feet back and forth i can't i i just it drives me nuts yeah. when you do that stuff especially I'm when we're in bed and we're trying to watch a show and you're like clicking at your fingers and stuff yeah. that no, oh it. it drives me yeah. insane yeah. so we are going to do our biggest, biggest accomplishment, accomplishment. Oh, and then our biggest regret in 2023 Wow, that's hard. That's I think my biggest accomplishment would be like growing as a parent. Okay. I feel like yeah. 2023 is a big year for me. Like with that like two to three adjustment, like it was overwhelming and I feel like I did make huge strides in parenting and like learning how to be a better parent and learning how to handle different situations better. You and I have had a bunch of talks of just like how to be the best parents that we possibly can be. And we are so young, but then again, we are like really proactive and trying to learn how to be the best parents that we can be. So I feel like I, you made a lot of like, I made a lot of strides yeah. and steps forward to be an, an even better dad. Yeah. And then regrets? I don't, I don't know. Maybe I don't really I don't really know of any like necessarily regrets because I feel like a lot of times when you do do things that you don't necessarily love, I feel like it also helps you grow as a person. So I think my biggest accomplishment in 2023 was mastering the art of having three children. I feel like I finally in 2023 felt like I like had had my head screwed on straight mm -hmm. yeah. it, because 2022 was such a blur for me with a third baby and a new baby and everyone says that having three kids is like the hardest phase, especially if you have them like close in age. So like they're all really young. Ella was only three when Addie was born. So we had three, three and under. And that was yep. wild. That was crazy. But I felt like in 2023, like I could take the kids anywhere and like yep. I was good. Like I could take them all to swim lessons. I could take them all to like the grocery store or wherever I needed to go and it was no big deal. So I feel like that was a big accomplishment in 2023. No, for sure. And I think my biggest regret in 2023 was like allowing myself to like feel so sad and like get in my head and just overthink things and 
stay in that place for far too long because the second half of 2023 was like really hard on me mentally yeah. i just was not at a good place and i think that my biggest regret was not like talking to somebody sooner or like just not doing my best to like get out of that place yeah. sooner. Mm -hmm. so speaking of the highs and lows of last year that brings me to today's sponsor which is better help i talked about this a few times but last year was a really rocky year for me mentally i was really doing my best to keep my head above water and one thing that was really helpful for me was therapy i'm a huge advocate for therapy I think that no matter what stage of life or phase of life that you're in we can all use somebody to talk to and if therapy is something that you've been thinking about or it's been kind of on your heart lately I definitely recommend BetterHelp honestly BetterHelp makes starting therapy so much less intimidating for a lot of people I personally know the struggle of trying to find a therapist that meets your needs and after signing up for BetterHelp they can match you with over 30,000 therapists in your network that's based on your needs your preferences and your location. And if you connect with somebody and you feel like they're not the right therapist for you, you can totally switch therapists with just a click of a button with no additional cost to you. I have a link that you can click in the description or you guys can go to betterhelp.com slash kbandbaby. To get started, you can fill out a questionnaire that just talks about the phases of life you're going through right now and what kind of therapist you would like to see. BetterHelp lets you have therapy sessions as a phone call, a video chat, or even just messaging. Whichever one of those is the most convenient and comfortable version for you. It's definitely convenient for me, especially especially as a mom who doesn't have very many opportunities to get out of the house alone. There have been over 4 million people who have decided to join BetterHelp. And if this is something that you want to do as well, I have a link in the description or you guys can go to betterhelp.com slash kbandbaby and you can get 10% off of your first month with BetterHelp. Kid count number two. Kid count number two. We're just filming We're just a filming. video really, really fast. Somebody asks, when are you moving? I don't know. I don't think we are. I don't think we are, unfortunately. I don't- I wouldn't say unfortunately. You know, guys, I'm gonna be honest. There's just too many ties here. Like, I don't know why. I think I was like really romanticizing what that would look like. Yeah. And it just wouldn't be that way. And I've kind of realized that moving away from all of your friends and family- Yeah, it's just- As much as that would be cool for some people, I don't think that it would be ideal for me. Yeah. And also just with- my eyes open to a whole different world of finances just like realizing that the house that we have and the house that we built this gold. the area that we're in we're like many people have told us we are sitting on a gold mine yeah. because many just people like, have said when we bought the house it was our before, interest rate before lumber went up before craziness it was just it's perfect timing so it was and so people have said like don't ever sell this house like this house will be like yeah. worth a lot in the future and so i think after learning and educating myself more on the world of interest rates and mortgages and yeah. all of that stuff i've come to find that this house is good for us i no, don't sure. think that it is our forever home but so for right either. now it is our home for and the nice thing is we have so much potential with it like right now we're comfortably living in it as it is not to mention the fact that we have a completely unfinished basement so it's mm -hmm. not like we're in a situation where we're in too small and we're like man we need to get out and do more for more space or whatever it is. Um, we can always like finish the basement. The next question is, do you see yourself having any more children? Yes, four's always been our number. I feel like Katie and I, ever since we really got together, it was like four is the magic number. You have four in your family. It just seems like a perfect number. I like having three siblings. I like having a big family and yeah, last summer we kind of came to the conclusion, which I don't know if I've said this on the internet, but last summer we had that conversation where we were like, what does that look like for us? Yeah. What changes are we gonna have to make? Exactly. My well, because Mario. with that, with the fourth baby would come a lot of things. Like we'd have to get a bigger car, we'd have My to finish body. the basement. There'd be so much financial things that we'd have to plan that we wanted to make sure that it was the right time. Right, and so we kind of decided that last summer we were like, yes, and then, yeah, so we do see ourselves having a fourth in the future. Which comes to the next question, which is, will you guys be getting a new house or finishing the basement? And which Ben kind Probably of just both. answered. Yeah. I, no, we'll definitely be getting a new house. I don't we just, see this as our forever home. No, but it's just a time frame on when that is, because we're definitely gonna finish the basement before we get into a new house. So Correct. I think Katie and I are just focused on like finances right now and just trying to make sure everything's in line and just be smart with money. We're gonna finish the basement and then obviously 
I'm not too sure exactly how long, but we want to have more space in our forever home so the girls can like run around I feel like the two and... things that are like the biggest on our list are like a three car garage or like yes. extra garage space. Yes. Oh, we really need so that. We could, we could literally put a gym in there and save so much oh, money. Oh, well not that. I'm talking about like kids toys. Like we have no room for like extra toys. We have to like cram in the strollers and stuff, which I feel like we could utilize the space like on the walls more, but it's just like with two cars and with having three kids and, and it's strollers. Like the and garage is very like even if we hung everything on the walls like our, our we're parked so close to the walls yeah so like anyway a three car garage yeah. would be nice and then we also just want more yard space like especially for sunny and letting yeah. her have more space to run around which honestly the backyard is great for her she loves the backyard and it's good but obviously when you have a dog you want to have more and also for the girls like the, the ability to just like run around in the backyard and have so much space to explore yeah it's that just, would be really nice. The next question is separate bank accounts, question mark. If Absolutely no, not. how can you buy each other's gifts without the other knowing? We definitely share our bank accounts. I feel like it's just kind of part of that marriage bond. I think it's just, it's our money. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. Like I literally, I don't see any difference about like money that you've brought in and money that I've brought in. Yeah. Like it's literally all the same to me. It doesn't, so yes, we do share, all of our bank accounts are shared together. Mm -hmm. um, I also feel like it's a mindset though. Like, I feel like if you have the mindset of like separate entities or like separate individuals, then they could kind of like, I don't know. Like I see us as a together. I don't know, does that make sense? Mm. So how do we buy each other gifts? So we def we use our credit cards when yeah. we buy gifts and we just tell each other not to look, which yep. first of all, you don't look I don't even, like I'm not in charge of our finances, like mm -hmm. Ben's in charge of our finances. He looks at everything, he sees everything. So honestly, I'm the one who has to be like, yeah, don't well, look no, at the credit card yeah, statement. Because <laughs> every month I'll go through and like see what we spent money on, whether it be like fast food or eating out or just miscellaneous stuff. Like just so we can, categories. Yeah, just, just so we can kind of track our spending and see how we're doing. So if anything, Katie's the one's like, hey, don't look. Or like for yeah. Christmas time, like I didn't even do like November or December. I still haven't done it. And it's because like almost Because it was like February. Black Friday shopping. Black Friday shopping and, and Christmas shopping. Yeah. I didn't want to ruin anything. So, it's, I mean, as long as you have like some self restraint, then. Yeah. Which you, I feel like if anyone would be nosy, it would be me. Yeah, I don't. I don't care. Like, I, would, I, I, don't I feel like I would be more nosy and I like to ask questions and ruin gifts more than you do. Yeah. I don't so. know. She, I think she wants you. Do you want me home too? Yeah, she wants mommy. So, that is all the questions that I pulled, but we're gonna answer one more question. What is that, bro? It's Pop Dirt. Oh. Our session. Our session. Artie will be too next week addy will be two next week which is crazy yeah crazy so addy let's see if you can say any words do you have anything to say tell the camera what do you have to say hi, camera. she said hi camera you say hi camera hi camera <laughs> say i'm gonna be two what's your name I'm say addy how old are you Say two. two. Usually when I ask her how old are you, she says good. Like because she thinks she's saying how are you. Good. How are you, Addie? Good. You're good. You're good. <laughs> what are your sister's name? Who's that? Avery. Avery. Ella. Ella. Who's that? Addie. Addie. <laughs> That's crazy. I cannot believe she's me too. I know. Say I'm two. I'm two. I'm two. I'm two. I'm two. Addie is literally the funniest person. The funniest, most Mama. independent little girl. Mama. Yes. Yeah. Oh, she Ready wants open. to do the silly face. You want to do your silly face? Yeah. Ready? Open your she eyes. She loves this. <laughs> <laughs> Daddy. I, I do. Daddy. Yeah. Daddy. Oh, you want to do me? Yeah. E <laughs> Addie is so independent. She actually talks so much. She's Mama. being shy right now, but yeah. she talks so much. She even says like, Mama. where'd daddy go? Yep. Where's, what's daddy eating? Yep, yeah, she's she's talking. Mama. She's definitely like. What are you doing? She's definitely like our most advanced. <laughs> she's definitely our most advanced talker at her age. Yes. But then again, that's also because Ella and Avery just be talking. <laughs> They're just talking and talking and talking. I, I'm trying to think of other like, phrases that she says because oh, she says so much something. she says so much stuff. well she, she says it. things and then we'll look at each other like did she just say like that? you said that when i were i was gone or where, oh my God. 
We oh, left. I was like to dinner with my mom or something like that, and you were like, "Where did Daddy go?" Yeah, where did Daddy go? And you called, and you're like, "Um, that's crazy." Yeah, which is crazy. But the other downside it, that Addie is going through right now is she is sleeping in our bed. Oh. Not at the beginning of the night, but it happens at like, like this morning Two. was at like 6.30. Yeah, it was like 6, I looked at the clock because clock, so I was considering going it? to the gym and it was 6.30. Was it 6.30? Oh. Yeah, it was 6.30 this morning she came into our bed, but without fail, Every once night. a night between like 1 a.m. and 6 a.m. she comes into our bed and sleeps with us for the rest yeah. of the night. That is the downside of her like yeah. sharing a room. Nice. Because mm -hmm. we can't like let her exactly. cry it out just a little bit. We can't let her like cry at all because then it'll wake up Ella and then she's upset, so that is the downside. We're probably going to end this video here. I hope you guys enjoyed. If you did, make sure to give it a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe to your channel and follow us on all the social medias down below. And we'll see you guys in our next video. Bye.